Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Today's video is a recreation of Hailey Bieber's Vogue makeup tutorial where she gives you the just got back from the beach glow. I'm gonna recreate it today on my face and let's see if a 20 year old's makeup routine works on a 40 year old. As for this look here, this is not the look you're gonna see in the video, but this look is coming up in the next video. So I'll see you soon. What's up? It's Haley, and I'm going to be taking you through a tutorial of my favorite peachy, glowy makeup look. Hey guys, so let's get started. I mean, who doesn't love that just got back from the beach glow? You know that one where you just like feel so like glowy and warm and just overall pretty? That's the look we're going to recreate today. So I recreate this look a lot of times with clients family, friends, even on myself, because it gives you this really like nice, like you just feel good about yourself look. So Haley is obviously extremely beautiful naturally with makeup, without, but I wanted to show you guys an easy way to do it on someone who's not 20. So there you have it. Um, Haley starts off with these glow drops. I don't have glow drops, but what I do have are some illuminizing primers. But uh, what I am gonna go in with actually is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It's not a foundation, but it's also not a primer and it's also not a highlighter, but it is kind of skin tone. So it's one of those things where it's like, it could be anything you want it to be, I guess. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this. I am going in with the lightest shade, which is number one. I am extremely pale right now. Um, I used to be one of those, you know, sun worshipers. Like I would sit outside and suntan all day long. And now that I'm getting older and I'm starting to get a little nervous about the old wrinkles, um, I've sort of started to shy away from that. I wear a lot of sunscreen, you know, sunscreen's good for your health, always wear sunscreen, as Kurt Vonnegut would say. Um, and so I'm just gonna like rub this in. Haley uses the glow drops, like I said. I feel like this is gonna do like the same thing. Plus I already have this, so I don't have to like go out and buy something for it. Um, like see how well this stuff just like melts into the skin? It doesn't even feel like anything. The cool thing about this product is it also doesn't have any glitter in it. A lot of the Charlotte Tilbury products, which I love Charlotte Tilbury, I just love everything about her. Her brand, her marketing, like her packaging is so pretty. Everything's like rose gold and beautiful. But um, this stuff doesn't have any glitter in it and a lot of her stuff has glitter. Uh, I mean, I love glitter, okay? I love sparkly stuff too. But um, on my face as I get older, glitter is not my best friend. I actually have it in another shade as well. This is shade four. This comes in a lot of shades. Uh, this isn't necessarily that much darker, but it is more golden. So when I am actually tan or I'm self tanned, I use that. But I mean, see this one matches like quite well with my skin. So I can't really complain. The next thing Haley goes in with is a Tom Ford concealer. And again, I don't have a Tom Ford concealer, but what I do have is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer. The thing I love about this one is it doesn't look cakey or concealer-y. Like you can wear it by itself with like just this face, like just this product I have on now, or you can layer it and wear it with a full coverage foundation. So it's really cool because it's really versatile. Plus, I'm gonna be honest, I've had this for like a long time and it, it feels like it's like magic in there, like it lasts forever. So I know the trend is like not to go under your eye, but I'm sorry, like that's where my darkness is. So that's where it got to go. Um, I do like to put a little bit up here. This is something new that I'm seeing, but again, and again, we have this nice like little breakout cause you know, you can't have breakouts when you're a teenager. You gotta start having them when you're 40 cause that makes sense, right? And then I just go ahead in with my beauty blender. This isn't even a damp beauty blender. This is just dry or slightly damp from the when I used it yesterday. And it's just to kind of pick up extra product. One of the reasons why I like to use my beauty blender dry is because it does pick up extra product versus damp. I feel like it just kind of tries to push it in. And 
my skin just doesn't take that anymore. It doesn't just flow like seamlessly onto the skin like this beautiful river of makeup. No, it needs to be like talked to nicely and put to bed early and given like flowers and chocolate and you know, anything possible to behave itself. So that's why I like to go with as little as possible. And if I use a dry beauty blender, it just doesn't put that much on. It like absorbs a lot of it. So maybe that's wasteful. Maybe it's Maybelline. I don't know, but it works for me. It might also work for you. It might not work for you, but that's why we're different people. So Haley does talk about tapping it in with her fingers. One of the good things about doing makeup with your fingertips, and I often like to do this under my eyes as well, especially when I'm done, is the warmth from your fingers really helps to emulsify the makeup so that it thins it down a little bit and allows it to really settle into the skin versus sitting on top of the skin, if that makes sense. The next thing Haley goes in with is this duo by Tom Ford. Again, I don't have that. I have a few Tom Ford things. It's not like I don't like Tom Ford, but I just feel like it's overpriced for the point of being overpriced, which feels really like meh to me. Um, the, the items that she goes in with are creamy. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my Fenty matchstick in the color Mocha, and I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Haley likes to put it into her um, hairline. I do as well. We're both blondes, although she has like a little bit more of a root than I do, but it does really help to give you that kind of like sun-kissed glow because when you're glowing from the sun, it's like everywhere that the sun hits. This, I am going to work in with my fingertips. Haley does use a brush, but because it's a creamy product, I do kind of want to use that heat that we talked about to emulsify it down. Um, and so it just really lets it like sink into the skin versus again, looking like it's just sitting on the skin, which is like the look that nobody's going for. Well, you know, like, there are people going for that look. That's just not the look we're doing today. And this whole nose thing, I don't have a problem with my nose, just saying, but it's like this new thing that I just feel like I have to do. Like, you know, when you're just kind of like, you just feel like you should be doing something, so let's do it. That's where this whole nose thing is coming from. So that's where we're at on the nose thing. So Haley talks about how she she's really picky with her eyebrows and doesn't like to do much to it. I'm also that same way. However, I've had my eyebrows microbladed, so I don't really need to do anything to it. So I'm gonna just follow her lead and go ahead and brush them. Uh, especially if I'm not doing like a full look, I don't really need to do a bunch of like extra stuff in my brows. If I'm trying to like recreate a shape or something like that, like, you know, sometimes people want like that straight, like that Asian brow, or I think that was like a Korean thing or they want like that super arch or they want them like super thick or whatever. You can play around with your brows. This is completely fine, especially for this look. It's not like a brow centered look. So the next thing Haley does is she goes in with a fluid sheer from Giorgio Armani. Again, I don't have that. I actually used to have those and I really didn't like them that much. And I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Peach Gasm. This is a really beautiful blush. It's like a really nice peachy color. It's got this kind of weird, spongy thing on the on the outside which to be fair is kind of weird and it feels like it holds a lot of product but at the same time this is a really beautiful blush and given the new trend of like not taking it all the way down into the apples of the cheeks I'm gonna stick with that because again this is a creamy product I am gonna go in with my fingers just to kind of like warm it up and give my skin a little bit more dimension Plus, it helps to give you kind of that faux sunburn, which I don't know why that is such a big thing now. Like you see it in a lot of like TikTok videos. It's like this Asian trend where like anime girls would have like their red under their eyes and that means they're kind of embarrassed, but also like they're very like cute. And I think that's kind of where it comes from, but it's definitely made its way into makeup routines. Even Haley talks about it, but she talks about it in a different way. Like you are caught out in the sun. Where do you sunburn? The tops of your cheeks, the tops of your nose, oh, and your ears, but I'm not gonna put blush on my ears. 
Just saying. So my skin just feels really radiant, really glowy, really nice. Like it doesn't feel like it's trying too hard or anything like that. I am likely going to need to set my under eyes, but that stuff's coming up. So the next thing Haley takes is a the other side of that Tom Ford bronzer, which is a creamy highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and just use the Charlotte Tilbury again. This one is called Spotlight. It is again a creamy, like kind of liquidy concealer. She puts it, you know, down her nose a little bit on her cupid's bow. And then definitely like onto her cheekbones. Again, the Charlotte Tilbury thing, I thought it was really weird that it, it had this like spongy thing at the top, but it actually works quite well and you can turn it on and off. So you turn it on, squeeze it out into the spongy thing and then close it. So if you travel, it's not gonna just like explode everywhere. So I really like that. I also really like that it's in a squeeze tube. So it makes it really easy to use. The thing Haley does is she does go in with a pressed powder um, to kind of set stuff. I am actually going to go in with a loose powder rather than a pressed. Just the reason being is a pressed powder looks really obvious on the skin. I don't know about you guys, but as I get older, powder just becomes so noticeable. I think it's because my pores are kind of enlarged. Um, but I mean, nobody's trying to like look like that. I just want to look glowy and pretty and we can achieve that with a translucent. So for the translucent powder, I'm actually using the um, Becca. I think this is like the Hydra Mist, yeah. So this powder is really cool. I was telling, um, I don't remember who I was talking about it, but it feels wet when you put it on, but it's not wet, it's a loose powder. Um, but it definitely allows you to like set, but also like to feel hydrated, which is really nice because again, like I said, one of the main things or reasons you can see that you're aging is because you look so dry and I don't want to look dry and like crusty. So the this loose powder is really, really nice for them. I know a lot of people actually don't like this because they feel like it's like too finely milled. It's almost chalky, but for someone my age, it's actually really good because see it like completely sets everything. So nothing's going to crease and look weird, but it still has like my skin still is glowy. So that's like the main thing. And so Haley talks about, she just puts it in her T-zone. Um, I'm going to follow suit, but I obviously need to do a little bit under my eyes. Also, let's just talk for real, girl to girl, girl to guy, whoever you are, him, her, they, them, doesn't matter. Let's talk about baking because baking is one of those things like Kim Kardashian does it. Her and I are the same age, but have you ever seen a picture of Kim Kardashian, like a natural picture that's not like photoshopped or filtered or anything? Her skin looks insane and I don't want to look like that. I guess if I'm having like photos done or something, then it's fine. Like whatever, you can be super like blur it out, right? But in a day-to-day -day thing, the amount of like baking that she does that creates like this, like this uncanny valley look like she's wearing a second face is insane. But on camera, it looks amazing. So pick your, pick your battle people. I'm also gonna put some in my eyelids um, just because I, I'm noticing also as I age, like beautiful, wonderful aging, um, my eyelids are getting a little bit oily or creasy or something. I think honestly, I think it's because like it, they're starting to get droopy. Um, whereas like before, everything was like a pyre and now it's like, so just, you know, being that I breathe oxygen and I'm in the air, it creases. So I always like to put a little bit of powder there. I also like to powder around my nose because like Kaylee, I do tend to like get a little bit oily in those sections, but I'm not putting a ton. Again, no baking required, just a little bit of powder so that the makeup stays. So Haley's next thing that she does that I think is so cool, and it's actually a hack that I used to do for work all the time when I worked as a professional makeup artist because it's easy and fast, but it's also like, it pulls your whole look together. It's like a magic trick that if you think about it, it makes so much sense, but it's also something we never do because we want to buy like all the next 
products and the next thing for this thing and this thing and this thing but this is i'm telling you guys this might change your life so i am going to take this new bronzer i just got it's new to me maybe not new to you one of my most wonderful new friends her name is sandra anime i may link her down below if i remember she does these incredibly creative cool eye makeup looks anyway she sent me this it is the hula glow bronzer so for those of you who know hula hula has been the bronzer the best bronzer for a really long time i actually use a lot of different bronzers but i was really excited and she's like you have to try this and so i was like okay like what do you mean like why is it so cool and i know you guys are wondering for the life hack here it's, it's coming i swear so this is what it looks like it is the most beautiful like glowy bronzer without being shiny or sparkly or orange or red or gray it's just like like you literally just came out of the sun for that so Haley does do a tiny bit of bronzer onto her cheeks um i am I'm gonna do it too, obviously. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys, like it just, it just like warms you up and gives you like just like this most like, <sighs> like I'm sorry, did I have lunch in Cancun today? No, I had lunch in my kitchen here in my new house in North Carolina, which I mean, it is nice here in North Carolina to go outside and get a tan, but this is like, you just instantly, tan again I'm not bringing anything like into like the center of my face and the reason being is because I want this to be like the lightest most flowy part so I want this like everything to like kind of come out from there it also is gonna give me like a little bit more dimension to my face which I have a very round face and now with this blonde hair that's like almost the same color as my skin I want to like give the illusion of dimension and texture and just like an overall like oh you look really nice or oh I feel really good look rather than holy what kind of bronzer is she wearing like that's crazy so let's talk about the hack now shall we so Haley takes a fluffy brush I have one right here Haley then takes the bronzer Yes, Haley, I love you for this tip because this is something I have done for so long. And she does that on her eyes. So the reason why this works so well is because it pulls everything together because you already have this on your cheeks, right? So it matches. Secondly, this is the color we all use in our crease anyway. And if you are going for that just got back from the beach look, are you gonna want something that is slightly, you know, tan colored? Yes. Do you want something that just kind of emphasizes your eyes? Yes. So why not pick a bronzer that's meant to also emphasize your eyes and everything else that already matches your skin tone? I mean, it's like a no-brainer. It's also a really easy way to just give yourself a really soft eye look that you don't have to really do anything for, right? Like now it looks like I have like everything's pulled together. If you have this beautiful skin, this beautiful canvas and nothing on your eyes, it always looks kind of weird. But then if you go in with a bunch of like shadows and colors and like glitter or sheen or whatever, even liner, you're getting away from that I just got back from the beach because I don't know about you guys or about those girls that you see that wear a full face of makeup to the beach, but like, I'm not that girl and that would be so uncomfortable. Imagine like rubbing your face cause you're hot and you're sweating or something and you just have like a whole face of makeup on, like that would be insane. This is, I just was at the beach all day and now let's go have dinner or cocktails or sit on your couch and hang out with your girlfriends or whatever. So the next thing Haley does is she puts on her mascara. Um, she doesn't use an eyelash curler. I have unbelievably short, thick eyelashes that literally like point straight down. I don't know where they came from, thank you mom, I think. So I go ahead in with an eyelash curler. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, eyelash curlers don't do anything for me either. Like I don't know if I have just like super resilient hair that just doesn't want to like get with the program, but like you can see like there's not really anything changed there. Um, it still looks like the same eyelashes, but I'm gonna humor myself and do the other side. They tell you to like sit and wear a 
hold it harder or do whatever. It doesn't matter. Everything I do, it's all the same. Whatever. I want to give a big shout out thank you to um sandra one more time for this beauty right here this is the benefit their real magnet mascara be honest i've tried some benefit mascaras wasn't like kind of whatever this one's actually really really nice and the really cool thing about this is like see how it's like a super beefy thick brush i was like oh, oh that's gonna get everywhere on my like tiny lashes but it doesn't because the bristles are actually really tiny and plastic. So it just allows you to like get in between all of them and coat them all. And it's, I feel like it's way faster. I don't know. Another tip if you have short lashes like me, or even if you have long lashes and you tend to get the mascara all over the place, take a mirror, look down and apply your mascara that way. Works and you're not blinking into your eye. All right, so there is one eye with this mascara and one eye without. Like, it is a big, noticeable difference. Are we serious right now? However, I'm gonna say this. This mascara eye, it looks like it's, like the lashes are kind of curled. This is gonna go away in like 10 minutes. I don't know what it is, maybe, yeah, I don't know. My lashes aren't even thin or anything like that. Like, they're actually quite thick, so maybe that's the problem. I've even tried heated eyelash curlers. A lash lift does work for me. But because my lashes are so short, the last time I did it, I ended up like gluing them to my eyelid, which was ridiculous. I mean, from front on, they looked great. From the side, I looked ridiculous. So I don't know what to do. Yeah, see, like this side looks like the mascara went on way better. And I often wonder, is it because I'm doing like, like the brush that way? Like, should I try the, you know what I'm saying? Like, do I, should I be doing, like, that's not, it seems silly, right? Like that's not gonna actually work. I don't know if you're supposed to dry your lashes. I'm gonna be honest, like my lashes seem to be like my nightmare. Something Haley talks about, which I thought was really cute. If she got stranded on a desert island, what would she take with her mascara and lip balm? I feel like I would take eye cream and bronzer. I don't know. Uh, I mean, lip balm is great, but eye cream can work as lip balm and bronzer can work as everything. So, I mean, how would you take your mascara off? Can you imagine putting mascara on five days in a row without ever taking it off? Ugh. No thanks. Haley does put mascara on her bottom lashes. I'm gonna try that and hope that I don't turn into a dry queen really quick because usually what happens is it starts to get really dark in my under eye because I do have a lot of lashes on my bottom layer and they actually like behave and go the way they're supposed to. Hmm, not bad. I have like a super light hand on the bottom. Unless I'm wearing like shadow underneath then you know, go ham. Anybody else have that one eyelash like right in here in your inner corner that's like super long and points like like I can see it's like directly pointing like into my bottom lashes like this. And no matter how many times I curl it, it just like completely goes back the other direction. I thought about cutting it to be honest, because I feel like at some point it's gonna start poking me in the eye, but it hasn't yet. And I'm also like terrified of cutting my lashes because that feels like, like the ultimate do not ever do this thing. So. Right, so the next thing Haley does is she does go in with a powder highlighter um, to kind of bring her whole look together. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, the other side of Filmstar Glow with a little bit of highlight. Um, the reason why I like this one, again, it because it's like champagne-y without being like glittery, but it's also like, I don't know if you can see that, it almost looks like a pressed powder. So it's, it's really, it's just really beautiful. And it also doesn't give you like this crazy, 
like strobe light effect. Like I know a lot of makeup artists like love like that whole strobe light thing and I get it, but oh, my dryer is going off. My dryer plays like the loudest song ever. It's like so long, it's still going. I'll tell you when it stops. Still going. It's like it really wants you to know it's done and really don't forget about me because it's still fun. Okay, it's done. Like, isn't that crazy? Does anybody else have a dryer like that? Like, what? Right, and last, but definitely not least, Haley goes in with a lipstick. She uses this one from Sicily. I don't have one from Sicily. I'm going to go in with a uh, pillow top by Charlotte Tilbury. This is actually not the pillow talk lipstick. I forget what this one is called. And my lip, my hands are too excited from all the product to get it open. Okay, I forget what these are called now. They're like lipstick without being lipstick. They're like some kind of stick. I don't remember what they're called, but they're like a lighter form of her lipsticks. And this happened to be a very similar color. Haley always talks, well, those, I talk like Haley and I are best friends. We're not, we don't have never met, but um, I feel like we would get along great. She seems like really cool and fun. Plus hanging out with Justin Bieber would be really cool. I feel like his brain is really creative and exciting. So anyway, if we were friends, I would tell her to try this too. But she talks about how she doesn't like swipe it on. Uh, and she just kind of dabs it and then takes her finger and presses it in. Now, if you are watching this video and you are considering lip filler, you are above the age of 30, you are a little bit self-conscious because your lips seem to be getting smaller as you get older and you wonder if you should get lip filler or some hyaluronic stuff and you try all these different lip plumping things or maybe that's just me, but anyway, uh, I was taught this by one of my most favorite, favorite makeup artists of all time. His name, his name is Blair Patterson, and he uh, was a, I don't know, I don't even know what his title was, but he was a makeup artist with Estee Lauder. And he taught me this trick. So when you're working on women who are mature, women who have fine, fine, fine lips, everyone has fine lips, women who have thin lips, you take the lipstick and push it in to the top of their lip, like, you push it rather than using lip liner. This allows the lipstick to kind of penetrate slightly above the lip line. So you get like a little bit more dimension and a little more fullness. Plus it allows the lipstick to stay a little bit longer, which is always, I mean, always a good thing. Who doesn't want their lipstick to stay on? Like, why would you put it on if you didn't? All right, and the last step in Miss Haley Beaver's just got back from the beach glow is she goes in with a loose translucent powder that is also an SPF. And I applaud her for this, especially at her age. It is hard to find people who really take SPF seriously. You know what, let me backtrack that a little bit. It isn't hard these days. When I was first starting in makeup, like putting an SPF on someone or a foundation that had SPF on them, they would like freak out. Like, I don't need it, I'm trying to be more tan. And I, I get it, but let's also not get skin cancer or premature wrinkles. Anyway, Haley goes in with a powder. I'm gonna go in with this Defense Refresh by Super Goop. It is a makeup setting spray or resetting spray. So you can use this throughout the day uh, if you are at the beach or you're somewhere where it's sunny and you do have some makeup on, but you wanna like refresh your makeup, it does that. Sort of like how Fix Plus um, kind of resets and like blurs everything together. You kind of have to be a little bit careful with this. I'm gonna be honest because this spout, if you don't clean it off, it gets like a I'm gonna see if it will do it. Nope. Oh. Nope, see it's still fine. Sometimes it'll just shoot like a stream of it. It'll like hit you in the face and be like, like that. 
so always make sure that's clean <laughs> um, now that I have, you know, you can never have too much SPF, so it doesn't even matter. So there you have it. This is a just got back from the beach glow. Um, this video was filmed like four times because I couldn't get the lighting right. I didn't like how it turned out. The sound was weird. And it came down to, I just want to make better videos for you guys. I want it to look better so that you will watch it for longer and enjoy it and learn something and have a good time with me because this is what I love doing. Um, so who do you think were it better? Me or Hailey Bieber? Just kidding. We don't need competition here. But even if you're not Hailey Bieber, you can still have a just got back from the beach glow, just like I showed you. So as always, you guys be kind to each other, be kind to yourself, and I'm gonna see you in the next one real soon, okay?